So, it was a crazy ride, but that concludes the intro to the AI art series. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for watching. I had a lot of fun making this, pushing the AI to its limit, testing the different art styles with different AI, and then sharing what I learned with you guys. It was extremely exciting for me. In the grand scheme of things, I think all this technology does is give real artists superpowers, but more importantly, make art accessible to normal people. If you were a Photoshop master with perfect technique and lightning fast workflow two months ago, you are now a god. Because while all the noobs are struggling to describe prompts that give them weird funny images, your superior art knowledge will let you create hundreds of pictures in an hour. And with your master skills, you are not at the mercy of the machine like everyone else, because you have the option to manually fix and adjust the faces, hands, and background to get exactly what you want. So if you're a real artist, there has never been a better time to be alive than now. But the best part is the door for casual people. If you're a plumber, or a construction worker, or a soldier, or just some dude with no art experience at all? For the first time in the history of the world, if you have a cool idea that you want to turn into art, that's an option now. I have a friend who does manual labor. He is not artistic at all, but his three-year-old daughter loves art. And after I showed him Dali, he spends his spare time turning his daughter's crazy ideas of dragons and unicorns eating pancakes into paintings that he then hangs on her bedroom wall. And his family has a great time bonding over this stuff. This was not a thing last year. Giving random people the ability to make art makes art accessible and fun for everyone. And I think overall, that's a good thing for the world. And listen, if you hate AI, you think it's evil or illegal, that's totally and completely fine. I'm not here to argue with you about what's right and what's wrong, because I don't deal in should, would, or could. I deal in what is, and I deal with it now. And the truth is, there is no going back. If you think AI art is a problem now, you have no idea. Just wait till the end of next year, because you have to understand that every AI that I've showed you this month is a baby. This is all just the beginning. In the month that it took for me to make this series, like 12 new iterations of Stable Diffusion came out. We went from mush to perfect faces. Anime went from fugly to this. And new AI art models are literally coming out every week. It's not going to stop, and it's not going to stay within 2D art. There are already AIs coming out for photogrammetry, for text to 3D, text to animation. I already use AI to generate music. You've actually heard some of the songs in the background of a few of my short videos. This is now our reality. And my job is to make sure that everyone on this channel has all the information they need to adapt to it. Now, I'm a 3D guy, so I can't wait for them to complete text to 3D. I mean, at the very least, I can't wait for an AI to do photorealistic hair for me. Because I f***ing hate making hair. And I f***ing hate UV mapping. I personally hope that those two things are the very first things to get automated. And if you're a real 3D artist who's feeling down right now, don't. Because there is a huge opportunity for you waiting in the future. When text to 3D becomes a thing, a lot of people are going to start generating their own characters and ideas. And just like with 2D, sometimes the faces or the hands or the clothes, they're just not going to look right. And they'll have to come to people like you in order to make those adjustments. So don't feel worried. Feel excited. I am. What's happening in 2D is foresight into what's going to happen for us in 3D, and it's gonna be awesome. And just because we're at the end of this series doesn't mean that I won't cover new things about stable diffusion in the future. I'll keep a close eye on this tech, and when something useful comes out that I think you guys should use, I'll definitely be covering them and sharing what I find with you guys here on the channel. Also, I just love coming up with character concepts using stable diffusion now, and just leaving my computer on, generating things in the background while I do my work. And I have a lot of cool images that I'd like to show you guys, so I'm gonna start ending each month with the video containing the best art that I've generated that month. Kind of like a little mini art exhibition. But personally, out of all the videos that I've made for you guys, I think the most important ones are the three last ones regarding art terminology. And that's because the technology will change constantly. But your knowledge of art history, styles, and terminology is the one consistent skill you will need no matter what AI you end up using. So hopefully, this info will be useful to you long after the software changes. If you enjoyed this series, please don't thank me. Thank the support squad on Patreon and YouTube members who fund the videos each month. In a YouTube world where I get content deleted and flagged for trying to help you install free and open source software or demonetized randomly, the support squad really is the heart and shield that keeps the show insulated from the random whims of YouTube. So please appreciate them, because they really are the reason I can still create this kind of content for you guys for free. Alright, well I think that just about wraps things up. If you join me next video, I'll talk about what's going to happen next. But in the meanwhile, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll be have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.